guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jenny Love, and today we are going to talk about a um you know, I almost said a little change, but it's actually a pretty big change um, that Linden Labs has recently just presented us with, um, just yesterday actually. And there are quite a few people that are, you know, pretty upset about it and don't agree with it. So for those of you who don't know and are curious, I will tell you what it is so we can kind of go through the pros and cons here. So um, just yesterday, unfortunately, Linden Labs hit us with a pretty big blow. Um, they put out an update announcing Tilia. And what Tilia is, guys, is basically the um, quote unquote bank handler for Linden Labs. Now, if you are a business owner in Second Life or if you have you know, really good paying jobs in Second Life that you find yourself withdrawing money, you know, exchanging Linden dollars to US dollars and or, you know, whatever currency, you know, you have, you know, because obviously not all Second Life players live in the US. We are from all around the world, but obviously the US is being impacted um, by this Tilia thing. Now, in my opinion, I agree with it but I don't agree with it. I'm kind of on the fence about it because, you know, it is a protocol that um, is put into place that, you know, in my opinion, guys, should have been put into place a long time ago. If you withdraw funds from Second Life, Tilia or Linden Labs will require that you provide proof that you are a legal U.S. citizen, um, you know, who can make money in the United States. So you will have to provide them your government issued identification or your driver's license. You will have to provide them your social security number. I'm not sure if you have to have a photocopy of the actual social security card, but um, you know, if they have it in their system where they can match, you know, your social security number with your identity, um, you know, they shouldn't need proof of your actual social security card. So they'll just ask for your social security number. Now, Everybody is freaking out about this. And I really, truly don't think that it's it's going to make any huge changes in Second Life. I do, however, think that it is going to make some. Unfortunately, there are people that are in Second Life that run businesses or, you know, make money with good jobs that they have in Second Life that are, um, you know, illegal citizens or they are under the age of 18 or they just simply flat out do not agree with what's going on. So in those few instances, we're going to lose people, guys. It, and, and it sucks. It really does suck. But, you know, on the other hand, it's, it's protocol. It, it's a government thing, guys. So Linden Labs is not... Per okay, yeah. Let me, let me start over and just just stress this to you guys because I see posts on social media all the time um you know when things like this go down and you know they're people are so quick to blame Linden Labs because they they truly think that Linden Labs is out to get us and <laughs> you know guys they're not they're really really not this is not something that Linden Labs decided to do this is something that our United States government stepped in and said okay we see that you have real life people playing, you know, this game or this platform or whatever, you know, you consider it to be, but they're withdrawing real life US dollars. They are putting money in their pocket. This money is not claimed. This money is not taxed. So whether you go out into the real world and get a job and pay taxes on the money that you make, or if you decide to stay home and get a job in Second Life, Nine times out of ten, it's not nearly as much money as you would make in real life, but it's still money, guys. You're still making money. This should have already been put into place. I'm surprised it hasn't been yet. Now, the thing that I don't agree with is the fact that Linden Labs is, in my opinion, 
Now we're gonna start harassing a lot of SL players because they really have to buckle down. They have to go aggressively, guys, because again, this is our government. This isn't Linden Labs doing. You know, if anything, Linden Labs has done nothing but good for us. You know, they provided us a platform and a way to, um, you know, bring out our creativity and open businesses and meet new friends and family and, you know, go on adventures and, you know, all these things that we can do for free, mind you, for free, that we cannot do in real life. It really amazes me that, you know, when Second Life does make important, necessary changes, the people that were given these opportunities on a silver platter is spitting all over it. So it's it's not right, guys. I mean, if you honestly, if you don't believe in, um, you know, what is going on with the whole new Tilia thing, which does go into effect on August 1st, by the way, um, 2019, this year, in less than a month, um, you know, don't don't make money. I'm sorry to say, you know, and, and it really does suck. You know, it sucks that we're we're going to lose some, you know, some good people in Second Life and maybe not just lose them all together, but... You know, I've already heard that a few really good designers are, um, you know, talking about closing their doors, guys. And it sucks. It really does. Um, but at the same time, this is not Linden Labs' fault. This is not Linden Labs' fault. I mean, if you want to make money, real money, if you want to make real money, guys, y you got you to gotta do the right thing. You have to follow suit. You are no different than anybody else in the world. You know, if you have, if you make money, you have to comply with the guidelines, you know, for, you know, our government and our taxes and things like that, you know, and I'm sure that, you know, Linden Labs isn't happy about it either, guys. You know, it's not like you got Linden Labs and the government sitting behind, you know, a wall somewhere just, <laughs> we're going to fuck these people over. You know what I mean? Like, no, that is not what's going on. Um, so, you know, I really do encourage that you all read up on the subject as much as possible because between now and August 1st, guys, there is going to be so many different things coming out, you know, from Linden Labs um, on updates on the subject. So I am going to read you some of um, what was posted yesterday involving Tilia. So this says important changes to your Second Life account, introducing Tilia. We're making some important changes to Second Life that will help you comply with U.S. law and regulations. To do this, Linden Lab formed a new subsidiary, Tilia, to offer certain financial services to the Second Life community. While Tilia might not be a name that is familiar to many in, Second Life in the Second Life community, it was created to efficiently handle the ever-growing and complex needs of our operations. Beginning on August 1st, 2019, Tilia will take over certain aspects of the Second Life service. Tilia enables Linden Labs to continue the Second Life service in its current form through enhanced regulatory compliance protocols. To achieve this, Tilia will assume responsibility for managing your U.S. dollar denominated account, which will be referred to as your quote unquote Tilia account. After August 1st, Tilia will handle process credit requests and payments made from your Tilia account. So guys, what this means is if you withdraw money, then yes, you're going to have to provide, you know, proof of your identity, social security number, blah, blah, blah. But if you deposit money, from the looks of it so far, you don't have to worry about that. I, um, you know, nothing will change. So if you just deposit and you don't withdraw, I really don't think that you'll have much to worry about. So let's keep reading here. Effective August 1st, in order to continue using Second Life, you will have to agree to Tilia's terms of service and privacy policy. A Tilia account associated with your Second Life account will automatically be created for you, and you will not need a separate username or password to access your Tilia account. In order to stay in compliance with regulatory requirements, if you wish to process a credit, aka withdraw, we will need certain personal information to verify your identity, including your name, your address, date of birth, and a social security number or government-issued identification if you are not a U.S. citizen. You may be required to provide additional information to complete the transaction. Tilia securely will store this information so that you should only need, need to provide it once. 
Additionally, please note that customers under, under 18 years of age will not be able to process credit after August 1st, 2019 until they reach the age of 18. This kind of sucks um, because there are a lot of Second Life players that are under the age of 18 since I could be wrong, but the last time I knew you had to be 14 years old to legally play Second Life. So, I mean, if you started playing Second Life and you're 14 years old, I'm so sorry to say that you can't do shit for another four years, guys. I'm really sorry to say. But, so that part does kind of suck. But again, you know, in order to legally do most things in the United States, you have to be 18 years old. So it does make sense. Um, as always, Second Life remains free to access and enjoy. However, if your Tilia account is inactive, for a period of 12 months, we will charge your Tilia account a fee to the extent permitted by the applicable law. Now, what this means, guys, is because Linden Dollars is a legal currency and because Linden Dollars can be transferred over to U.S. dollars, it's still considered real life money, whether it's sitting in your Second Life account or not. Um... So if you say, say if you have 5,000 Lindens in your Second Life account and you just decide to bounce from SL and you're like, okay, you know, screw this shit, I'm out of here. And, you know, your account is, you don't do anything with your account for a year, a whole 12 months. Um, you know, 5,000 Lindens, that equals out to be about 20 US dollars, you know, give or take. Um, so, you know, Linden Labs is going to be like, okay, there's $20 sitting in this person's account and they haven't done shit with it, you know, so we're going to have, we're going to have to tax them for it, you know, because there's no activity on it and it's just sitting there and it's real money. So again, not Linden Labs fault. It is the U.S. government. Um, and so if you decide to leave Second Life, make sure that you spend all those Lindens guys before you, um, you know, go inactive because they will charge you a fee for leaving an amount sitting in your account for 12 months or longer. So make sure that, you know, again, you understand that. Um, and this, okay, it says, why am I required to provide, to provide personal information to Tilia and what will you do with it? Now, this is another thing I seen people freaking out on social media last night. I am not giving Linden Labs, my social security number. I don't feel comfortable with it. It's ridiculous. It's just another system to hold our information, blah, blah, blah. Guys, no, it's not. This is all governmental. So if you provide your social security number and your identification and all of this to Linden Labs or Tilia, um, this all goes into the government system, not Second Life's system, not Linden Labs system, but the government system to prove that you are legal to make money. You know, again, guys, Second Life money, Linden, or Linden dollars is not fake money. It is real money. So again, you have to prove that you can legally earn money in the United States. So this is protocol. So again, guys, um, you know, let's stop blaming Linden Labs. Okay, so as registered money service businesses, Linden Labs and Tilia are required to comply with applicable US laws and regulations. As part of our ongoing risk management process, we must obtain, verify, and record information about our customers for whom we offer financial related services. We take your privacy and security seriously. So your personal information will continue to remain protected and will only be used for purposes that are outlined in the Linden Labs and Tilia's privacy policies, which when I read that it was all, everything is, is government um, complying. Um, please refer to the frequently asked questions for more details regarding this information request. We understand that there may be some questions and concerns about these new procedures, but these changes are required in order for Linden Labs to continue offering Second Life services without disruption so that its economy will, oh, they have a typo here, without disruption so its economy will relish and respect the countless contributions of Second Life residents to the virtual world. So these changes will enable us to maintain a robust virtual economy for many years to come. For more information and context on these changes and how it may impact you, please see our frequently asked questions. And guys, I will put the link to this 
um, update in the description below so that you can read everything that I just read to you and so that you can go through the terms of service and um, the privacy policies and all of that stuff guys because it's it's important to know about this it really is I would have to say that this is one of the biggest deals um, that Linden Labs has put out in a while I mean this is this is causing chaos but again this is kind of a good thing and also if you really think about it they have your information they have um you know again your social security number your identification yes it is extremely safe but think about this guys griefers trollers copy bots all of those kinds of people um are going to disappear because no matter how many second life accounts they make they can make a hundred alt accounts and all of those accounts will trace back to the the person's identity, their social security number, their identification. So, you know, if somebody wants to go fucking around SL and start copy botting or, you know, trolling or griefing people, Linden Labs are going to be able to um, catch that person 10,000 times quicker than they can now. So... That is a really good thing, guys, because now we ain't going to have people fucking with us. So yeah, guys, Tilia, it is a big deal, but for the most part, it is a good thing. So again, if you don't agree with it, guys, look into it more, read up on it more. Don't freak out. Don't blame Linden Labs. It is not Linden Labs' fault, and, you know, you're just looking for somebody to blame. I'm really sorry that, you know, you're that confused, because... <laughs> You need to blame the government. That's who it is. I'm sorry, guys, but that's that's what it comes down to. And, you know, you can't change the government. So, you know, this is not like one of those things where we can put out a petition <laughs> to, you know, stop, you know, the group cuts and, you know, the raising of the premium fees and stuff like that. I'm sorry, guys. That's not this easy this time. Again, government. You can't top the government, guys. So again, thank you so much for listening and hearing me out. And I hope that I cleared up some things for a lot of people because I really do think that a lot of people were um, also confused about the situation. So again, read up as much as you can, as often as you can on the Tilia changes. Again, I will put the link in the description below that tells you all about it and where you can find all of the updates um, as they update until it does go into effect on August 1st. And as always, if you liked this video, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. Um, if I actually had to take a guess, I'm going to say that I'm, I'm definitely probably going to get some dislikes on this video because, you know, there's going to be a lot of people out there who still won't agree. So, you know, people are still going to be like, well, screw this. I don't, you know, I still don't agree with it. But, and that's fine. That is fine. That's totally fine. Dislike away, guys, you know, because it's, it's understandable. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Um, but again, you know, I really did hope that I cleared some things up for you guys. All right, love you guys, and thank you so much again for hearing me out. And remember, keep calm and love Jenny Love. I'll see you later, guys.